What's going on Forgers, I'm Ascent Hyperion, and on behalf of Forge Hope, today I'm bringing you a short yet impactful lesson on how to incorporate scripting into any Forge map. While scripting has allowed Forgers to create some insane modes and machines, not every scripting endeavor needs to be some complex mass undertaking. Scripting can be a powerful tool to breathe new life into virtually any style of map. So that's why I'm going to give you the knowledge you need to make your newest creation just a little more special. Be sure you subscribe to Forge Hub for more content. When we summarize our approach to scripting, there are three key rules to follow. We want our scripts to be visceral, consistent, and simplistic. Let's break down all three, and I'll show you how to make them happen on your maps. First off, scripts should be visceral, meaning they should appeal to the player's senses without confusing them. This is actually more simple than it sounds. Here, let me give an example. Rather than just having doors that open and close, let's give the process a visual and audible component. Instead of having this door open immediately when the switch is flipped, I set the door to wait a few seconds before opening. In that time, a set of lights start to flash and a loud alarm sounds. Now all players within earshot or sightline get a warning that the door is opening and a change to the layout is about to occur. I set the door to close on its own and yet again, this is preceded by a new pair of flashing lights and our big alarm again. A good script action will incorporate multiple player senses. It enhances player immersion and helps make the action itself more noticeable on the players. It sets a tone of repetition that people can recognize when an action is going to happen a set of events either occurs before or after it. Next, we want to ensure our scripts are consistent. Scripting is prone to its own set of issues just like anything else, and when you couple that with sloppy scripting on your part, it's easy for a function you wanted to pull off to get broken real quickly. I'm going to show you a trick you can use to protect your scripts and make sure that the events happen just as you plan them each time. What I like to do is set up what I call a safety on my scripts. A safety is a script itself that makes sure the main action script can't be abused. On the switch that controls your script interaction, start a fresh script. On this one, make the initial action switch interactive off. This will make it so the player can no longer interact with the switch. Set the next action to wait, and set that time to however long it takes for your main action to happen. So let's say you want a door to open and close. A safety can be used to ensure the door always opens and closes fully without player interference or interruption. Now you can always have the safety last as long as however you want it to, but make sure you give the action all the time it needs to fully run. It should be consistent each time. Finally, when I say simplistic, what I mean is that we want our scripts to be straightforward, logical actions. As forgers, we've got to keep track of what each script does, but furthermore, people playing on our maps have to understand what's happening in-game as a result of scripting. While you can pull off neat easter eggs with scripting, keep in mind that not every player is going to enter a forge map looking for secrets, and even fewer people will play a map enough times to figure out complex easter eggs. Be sure the scripts on your map fulfill impactful actions that every player can recognize and enjoy. The more players that see scripting in action on your map, the more inclined they'll be to seek out more scriptable events on your map in the future. Visceral, consistent, and simplistic. Following these three guidelines will help you easily, and most importantly, effectively, incorporate scripting into your Forge maps. Many players view scripting as a niche tool for making wild inventions, but in reality, scripting is one of the easiest ways players can enhance the experience of their own maps. If you have any questions, leave them below and be sure you leave a like on the video. On behalf of the Forge Hub team, Keep on forging.